Uh, Oakland Tower, one, two, three, Tango Zulu has a request. This Skyline 3, Tango Zulu, go ahead. Oh, yeah, sir, we'd like to make this one a full stop taxi back on runway 28 right, and then uh, we'd like to be cleared for takeoff 28 right, cleared for the option 33, 3, and then stay in the pattern on 33 3 for a little while. This Skyline 3, Tango Zulu, I copy all, runway 28 right, cleared to land. Click on right, one, two, three, Tango Zulu. So one of the most critical things we practice as pilots is what to do if we lose power on the upwind, right? Low altitude, slow airspeed, um, often there aren't a lot of great options, right? We've all heard about the, the impossible turn, right? Don't make a 180 degree turn and try to go back to the runway you departed from unless you have at least a thousand feet in the bank, right? We've all heard that. So what do we do? Um, I have my students brief every takeoff, right? So what happens if we lose the power? They tell me they're gonna pitch forward, um, turn on the fuel pump, check that everything's full forward. Um, if that doesn't work, they're gonna pull the power to idle. They're gonna land you know, at some point in front of them. So you know, we talk about this stuff, but when do we get a chance to actually go out there and practice it? Um, in this video, you're gonna see me go to Oakland, depart runway 28 right, and use runway 33 as an opportunity to actually practice this. Now, the FAA says, if we want to simulate reality, we have to count to three seconds before we initiate any kind of response, right? That moment of disbelief in reality where you're thinking, what's going on here? Am I actually losing power? All right, so what I'm going to do with my students is pull power to idle. Um, in some cases, not all, you're going to hear us count to three, and then we're going to pitch forward and attempt to land the airplane on runway 33. Now, keep in mind that I'm just doing this to show them what the experience is kind of sort of like, right? This isn't going to be exactly like reality. After all, I'm pulling it at a point that is um, known to me to be a safe altitude with plenty of room to make runway 33. I'm not going to actually put my students in an impossible situation. So anyway, let's see how this works. All right, so do you know what we're doing here? Yep, we're going to take off and then magic the my engine's going to fail and we're going to land on 3-3. Right, now there's going to be a crosswind on 3-3, probably a stiff one. Yep. But I think what I'd like you to most take away from this is the briefing that you and I do every single time in San Carlos. We talk about it, we, we go through the, the motions. Here's a chance to pretend we don't know it's coming, but actually later. Target one, proceed across the 2-8 final. Southern 123, uh, Tango Zulu Tower, runway 28 right, cleared for takeoff, right close traffic. We didn't want right close traffic, did we? I was telling you on the two uh, Tango Zulu, you can uh, on the go make uh, right close for runway 33, clear for the option runway 33. Okay, takeoff 28 right, option, clear for the option 33, you want to return to the Good, and then Thank we'll you. stand up there, yeah. Eight, two, eight, right. All right, there we go, full power. Power set. That's gauges look good. Airspeed's alive. 59, rotate. Good, rotate. Climb like you like you really want that altitude. Climb like you want the altitude. Pull, 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 pull. Yeah, there you go. Climb with intention. That's what you'll want. Because if this really happened to you, you want a lot of altitude in the bank. Nope. All right, power to idle. Pitch forward. Good. Land on that runway. Now keep in mind that I do this with students all the time, and even though I pull the power at the exact right time, that is, we, we have enough altitude to do this, um, and they know it's coming, it's still hard to get them to pitch forward enough to keep the flying speed. So that's kind of the lesson here. Also, with a slight left crosswind on runway 28, it's a distinct crosswind when we turn to land on runway 33. So you have flaps available. You have flaps, just no power. Use your flaps. Flaps full. No flaps. All right. Okay, so then it's a crosswind landing, right? So right rudder, like that. Okay, good, keep that wing down. Let's go full power. Full power. Yep, keep that wing down. And rotate. Okay, nice. Can I take it just for a sec? You have control. I got the flight controls. Um, control. So just talk to me about why we didn't use flaps, though. Uh. Uh, um, sort of tear, so quickly. during that headlight moment? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. 
So there you can see, even though Paul knew it was coming, he still had a little bit of a deer in the headlights kind of freeze up. Um, I want him to use flaps because the things that make force landing survivable are landing at the slowest possible ground speed without stalling the airplane. So if possible, into the wind and always with full flaps. In this case, we, we chose to land on runway 33, so we're not going to be into the wind. Um, but certainly I would like him to use flaps to have a slow touchdown speed. All right. Any interest in trying that again? Yeah. Okay. And power for uh, one, two, three, Tango Zulu. Any chance we could try that again off two eight right? So two Tango Zulu affirmative. Do you want to land two eight right or do a touch and go and land runway three three? Uh, I think a touch and go will be fine, and then uh, option three three, and hopefully we'll be able to stay in the pattern over here a couple times. Scout two Tango Zulu runway two eight right, clear for the option runway three three, clear for the option, right close on the go. Okay, two right, clear for the option, three three, clear for the option, and then right close traffic on the go, one, two, three, tango, Zulu. All right, so the only trick here is let's land short, so that when we do the touch and go, it simulates something okay. similar. Um, and you see how when you lose power, it's like you get the nose down, but it's like, where's my energy? Yep. Now, can you imagine the FAA, to be honest, the FAA says if you want to be realistic about this, you should count to three before you do anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is crazy, yeah. right? Think about that, get behind. That's what they did in this like film. If you got behind the power curve. Yep. Good pitch forward, turn. Good. You still got speed. You got speed. Keep the turn coming. Flaps in there. Get your flaps, flaps, flaps. There you go. Good. And then you've got a crosswind to contend with. Yeah. On this is right. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. We'll probably go around in this one. Inside, exactly. Okay. Six, yeah, let's go around. Thank you. Not bad. All right, so here's your failure. One, two, three, shocked. Okay, good. Flaps, good. Put them all in, just dump them all. Excellent, much better. Good. And when you turn the corner here, it's going to be about um, crosswind correction and protecting the nose. One hand on the power just to be ready. A little more right rudder, more right rudder, more right rudder, like that. Yes, good. All right, let's go around. That was a lot better. Yep. All right, aviators, please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of uploads. My thanks, as always, to the sponsors and to the patrons. Without their support, these videos would not be possible. So you can find the finer points at patreon.com slash learntfp for longer lesson videos. You can also find me on Instagram at learntfp and on the web at learnthefinerpoints.com. We've got videos and podcasts coming week over week in 2018, so my thanks to you for watching this video. Please share it with your friends and come by the website, download some podcasts, and spread the word. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be safe and fly your best.